Sini, please take a seat to my right. I'd next like to call upon Ms. Nadra Panjwani, the chair of the Panjwani Charitable Foundation and the seed donor of Panjwani Hisar Water Institute to tell us a little bit about the story of Panjwani Hisar Water Institute. Ms. Nadra Panjwani is a social worker and a philanthropist based in Karachi. She's the founder and managing trustee of the Panjwani Charitable Foundation and Trusts. In 1994, she established the Zena Panjwani Memorial Hospital in, mem in memory of her late mother. In 1997, she commenced the establishment of the Dr. Panjwani School Complex for the Blind. Her latest project is the Dr. Panjwani Center for Molecular Medicine and Drug Research in the University of Karachi. Ms. Panjwani is a founding director of the Pakistan Human Development Fund, which was established in 2002. She's also a recipient of the Sitara Emtiaz and Tamgha Emtiaz. Please, Ms. Nadra Panjwani, please. Come on, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Excellency Governor of Sindh, Imran Ismail Sahib, respected guests, dear colleagues and friends, assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Even though this is the closing session of what has been a very exciting and productive two-day international conference on water, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome and thank all participants for their engagement with us. As you know, we are in the segment titled Unveiling of a Dream. Panjwani Hisar Water Institute at the NED University. Therefore, I would like to share with you briefly the genesis, the rationale, and the objectives of this pro uh, project from my perspective. I met Ms. Simi Kamal, the founder of Hisar Foundation, way back in 2008 when I was doing a stint in the Sindh cabinet and had charge of the Ministry of Women Development and Population Welfare. She met me to discuss the services of her foundation in the field of water security for the vulnerable segments of society and told me about her interventions in water stress areas like Thar. I was taken by her passion for water and also began understanding more clearly the gravity of the water challenges of Pakistan. A couple of years later, when she and her colleagues invited me to join the governing board of the Hisar Foundation, it was with great pleasure and interest that I accepted this and thereafter got more deeply involved with water advocacy and water issues. As for the NED University, it has been my pleasure, my privilege, to have been associated with this premier university of Pakistan for nearly two decades now. As member board of governors of the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan, I served for eight years on their Senate and their syndicate, and thereafter have remained engaged with them in the same capacity for a long time. <laughs> Professor Sarush Lodi Saab, is an academic par excellence and a man of vision. He has already established a number of key strategic departments at the NED University, which will better equip us to handle the many transformations coming our way in the wake of the disruptive technologies with their superior attributes, which will potentially change how we operate our businesses and industries. In my view, taking the Hisar Foundation to the next level required extensive research publications, and linkages with industry and academia, which could then provide the basis of changing the way we think about water, the way we use water, and the way we preserve this precious commodity. My association with these two excellent organizations who through co collaboration could synergize this common objective led to the idea of establishing the Panjwani Hisar Water Institute at the NED University. Panjwani Foundation is dedicated to the cause of human development in Pakistan and has established a number of successful organizations, primarily in the fields of health, special education, higher scientific education, and women empowerment. All of these being crucial areas for upliftment of our people. We feel that water, in its larger context, is very much a requirement for human development. Water is the basis of life and happiness. It is the basis of good health, it is the basis of sustainability and livelihood. And the Quranic verse, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ high, And we made from water every living thing, describes the significance of water most holistically. My team and I at the Panjwani Foundation take great pride in being the lead donors and facilitators for this project, which we feel 
has long-term strategic importance for our people, for our children, in terms of their health and well-being. Today, Pakistan, with her burgeoning population and quickly depleting water resources, is a water-scarce country. It is high time for us to put into place a series of integrated measures to halt the possibility of running dry. This research institute will be one block in the larger edifice of water security for Pakistan. Through our research, our innovations, our interventions, and advocacy, we hope to provide big and small solutions for our water issues and bring about an attitudinal and behavioral change among our people with respect to water. And the good news is that we have already kick-started our academic programs. Earlier on in August this year, the President of Pakistan inaugurated the session for the launch of our academic programs. Our think tank activities will produce and disseminate publications based on solid facts and research findings, and we hope that our governments at the local, provincial, and federal levels will use our findings and insight in the interest of rational policy formation. Here I would like to thank Vice Chancellor Lodi Saab for embracing our project with open arms and for facilitating us in every manner. My gratitude to my colleagues at Hisar for, for, for their commitment to the cause of water and for giving me the opportunity to partner with them in this mission. I'm also grateful to so many members of the international community for attending this forum and for upholding the view that water is indeed a transnational and transborder issue. Mr. Governor, we are grateful to you for supporting our cause. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sharing this occasion with us. God bless you all, and thank you again. Ms. Nadra, can you please take a seat on the stage? Thank you. Next, I'd like to call upon Dr. Sarosh Hashmad Lodi, Lodi, the Vice Chancellor of NED University of Engineering and Technology, 